I feel for Chizzy sometimes because we all know he's a class player. And he's always come so oh, close in TV events. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to lift a big major trophy yet, but a prolific winner on the Pro Tours and on the Euro Tours, like you say, Dan. 83. And there's still life in him yet. There's still, when he's on his game, he's still opportunities to win a, a major. Danny Noppert fell at the final hurdle on two occasions last year in Austria in his home tournament in the Netherlands. Chizzy will be wanting to put the squeeze on this 1 4 1 here and does so with a nice little 1 3 4 there. But Danny Noppert 1 4 1 for a holder throw. That's a great start. Treble 19 now. Double 12, Dan, for a 1 4 1. Good. Ah, what a way to hold his throw. A nice little one for one finish there by Danny Noppet. We've already seen Danny Noppet take out 200 plus shot outs. I was just about to say, could there be a third? But not on this occasion. Yeah, this, zero, I this could be Dave Chisnell's oh, strongest leg in the match. And it would be a break. One out of five on his doubles at the moment. Take that one out of seven. And he require 54. Well, Noppet then tops for a 5 1 lead. Yeah, on the sick leg. Danny Never in doubt, Dan, I don't think, with his team. finishing. He'd be disappointed with that. There's Rog, Chizzy's manager. Long time companion watching on. Feeling a bit under the oh, weather is Roger. He's got a little 100. bit of a cold, 26. but that will not deter him from coming out to support his man. It's a little bit unlucky there from Chizzy. But the way that Danny Noppet's Danny been finishing down, I can't see him missing this. To finish with potentially an 11 dart flourish. That's the easy part. Well, 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 double ten. Danny Noppet finishes it off. And what a display of doubling it was from the freeze. Aiming under any sort of pressure to clean up the leg. Yeah, it's giving Damon time. I mean, well, he's needing no, time because he's two out of 11 on the doubles right now, which normally would be bad enough to really damage your chances. At the minute, it doesn't look like it's doing so. I don't know if you agree with me here, Dan, but there have been times, as you watch Ryan just go for this treble 17, double 16 for a 1 4 3. Damon, you require. I'll come back 16. to that, but just see if Damon can trim this up. Yeah, he does. Well, it's another breaker throw, it's three legs on the spin. Done the hard work over the last couple of days, so it might be a little bit of edginess. Mm. But you shouldn't be edgy. Not now. 49. But for me, I should just go up there. I, I didn't really change my routine. Then I'd get here early enough. I'd act a clown. But then I'd also know that, right, it's time oh. to, time right, to knuckle down now. Get the, get the arm slick, get the arm oiled, get it going. Then it was a case of going up there and hopefully trying to do a professional job and get the win, basically. Ryan Meikle, to double his legs tally. 50. It's another Danny miss for Meikle. He's finishing worse than Damon. Double 10. For 5-1. And the Australian misses both of those chances. Well, the way it's been, Dan, is, is, is Damon going to get another shot? You know, it's down to Ryan to, to tidy this up. Well, Peter Wright went out in the second round yesterday, but Leverkusen's managed to find a late replacement. And Ryan Meikle's managed to find a double. He looks absolutely fuming about it. Make it count. And Meikle snuck up behind him and took the leg. If he does do that again, Ryan Meikle has the darts and the last leg decider. He's favourite to win the game. And look at this. Where's he going? Ooh! 
I thought he was going to go for the old dead cat 180 and leave double one yeah. for the left. It's treble 18 or treble 10. I'm liking treble 10. <laughs> Go on, fill it up. Leave double one. I think he's going to look at the 14s here. Oh, he went, he went for it. He went for it. He's <laughs> mad, man. <laughs> 2,000 German fans have bullied Ryan Meikle into going for a shot that would have significantly decreased his chances of winning the game. That's a miss. That's a hit. Double 12. That's a hit as well. And Damon Hetter gives it his Leighton Hewitt celebration, but it's a pretty muted one because he has struggled. And that hasn't always been the case in the last 12 months or so. It's amazing what a few wins can do for a player. A few good performances. All of a sudden, they go from trudging around and not looking that interested, Gerwin, you're being at it. And when Gerwin Price is at it, it's going to be treble eight here, surely. Yeah, double top. Well, he does miss it. Michael, you require 164. Yeah, it was one of those gambles, but... The gamble that's paid off because Smith isn't going to pin the 164. He's not going to set it up great either. All around the board. Double five is there. It is a trio with a 15 dart leg to go in Price. So far from Michael Smith, Price has been clinical when it's mattered. He's only had the one dart at double so far. World champion responding. 105. Price going to the bullseye to leave a finish that does not require the bull. Oh, double 16 for a 1 3 1. Michael Smith, that is spectacular. 180, 1 3 1 out. Six perfect darts in a row. Easy as Michael Smith. It's like he threw those three darts without aiming. He was just so natural, he's so rhythmic, he knew where they were going to land. Ninety-six. Wasn't at his sparkling best yesterday, Smith, against Rennie Adams, but I think in truth that was probably down to the fact that he wasn't really pushed, he didn't need to produce his A game. I mean, Price certainly was pushed by Christoph Ratajski. Easy one. Get a win, you require 136. And 136 to hit back with a 12 darter of his own. And a big check out of his own. And this is absolutely magnificent. Gerwin Price is averaging around 108, 109 again. Now the crowd launching into Ovius de Schoen. And that is Schoen. Particularly beautiful from Gerwin Price, a third maximum. Just looks like he can play like this all day, all tournament. Maybe the entire Euro 60. Tour. He finished the Euro Tour in 2023 with 109 average. Oh, doesn't stop. Get a win, you require 87. Potentially 11 data to win. Game. Of course, Gerwin Price hits it. Another magnificent display on the Euro Tour from Gerwin Price. When Gerwin, he really does like trying to stick it to people. And by the sounds of it, on, on the TV ranks, he likes to try and put, it o put one over on Dimmy. But that's a respectful thing. I take that as a respectful thing from Dimmy because that's because he fears him. Well, Dimitri van den Boer will be fearing what's to come in this if Van Gerwen pins an 11 darter or a 12. 12 it is. A dozen darts to start this match for Michael van Gerwen. Has been punished. Michael left himself 81. But do you know what? If Dimi can hit a big shot here, dare I say fill it, put the pressure right back on MVG.
12 for the ball. Oh, Ooh. Michael. He'll be cross with himself for that. 49. That was an opportunity there to really apply pressure and break Dimmy's throw. Whereas Dimmy now, he's going to get at least one dart at tops. 40. Can't Michael take his chance, and it's a reprieve for Michael Van Gerwen. And it's a break of throw for Michael Van Gerwen. Sometimes even the best missed. Another one of those for double 18. Dimitri Vandenberg can't close the gap. Van Gerwen could close the gap to victory. He is just one leg away. More misery hey, for DVDB against best. MVG. Dutch conveyor belt of darting talent. 96. Well, Dimmy's left his silver finish here. Nice big finish. Two treble 19s ball. Stay down. Go back up now. Oh, that's a loose dart. Well, to ending style. And Gerwin has not hit a ton plus checkout so far. 130. Dimitri require 87. To prolong the match, Dimitri Vandenberg needs double 18. 51. Michael, you require 24. One of those days. Another one of those days for Michael Van Gerwen. The previous leg, and now he's attacking the Petretsko throw, and he should get probably handfuls of darts to win this leg. He is going to get loads. 422. Yeah, he's starting to put the squeeze on here. Ricardo should start down here. 719, so we'll leave him the big fish. Good marker. I think he was tempted to go oh, up there, Dan, and... Steven Uruguay, 59. But still done, he left a 164. Tops now for Bunting. Take a lead. 49. Mm. Oh. Well, he missed the double for a 12 darter in the last leg. He's missed the doubles for an 11 and 12 darter in this leg. He's left himself a rather awkward double five. Oh, now, it wouldn't surprise me if he split this. Uruguay, go two for double four. I think no, he's going to straight, straight at, at it. it. Yeah. Oh, what happened there? Something happened. Thank you. I think Ricardo you. is just asking the fans to yeah. keep it down while Bunting yeah. is throwing. Yeah. Stephen Bunting. Stephen Bunting. Throwing his darts carefree. He's not putting the pressure on himself. That's what makes him very, very dangerous. Oh, he's not. He's certainly looking a lot more dangerous in this leg. This is for a potential four-visit leg. I assume a start on the bullseye. But feel free to surprise me, Ricardo. All right, 17. So 15 or 25, what do you fancy? 15. That leaves the ball. And that is the ball! Didn't look too much like a silent assassin there, George. Oh. Game. Start getting a little bit frustrated because mm. he'll be thinking to himself where I am in the rankings and who I am. Oh, I should be beating people like you. You can't help but think that then. Well, yeah, I mean, look, look at the, the that quarter of the draw where you have Smith, Price, Van Gerwen and Dimitri Vandenberg. Anybody not in that quarter oh, has turned up today at the Austin Arena and one. gone oh, oh, dodged yeah. a bullet there. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah. It's on. It's on. Bullseye again. Good. And bullseye again! Good. 80% on the doubles. Two of them have been on the bullseye. And Stephen Bunting is in trouble here.
has got six darts minimum to get rid of 161 and reach the quarterfinals of a European Tour event. His average isn't as big as what we've other games we've seen this afternoon, Dan. Fifty-eight. But when you're averaging that decently well, he's around the 95 sort of mark, but he's got an 83% checkout rate. That can hurt anyone. If you average mid 90s, you're going to be competitive. If you average mid 90s and hit all your darts at double, like Ricardo's been doing, and yeah, you are going to be dangerous. But the second half of the game, he's been really, really good. If this goes, it's four legs on the spin. And he would have been in the quarters, but Stephen Bunting is facing. Hey, he keeps on hitting the bullseye. He's facing a big, big ask here. Well, he it's, needs... got, it's got to go, Dan, isn't yeah. it? It's got to go. It almost certainly does. It looks a decent guide. Is it a good guide? Well, the bullseye has been owned by Ricardo Petrezco in this game. And he would not even lend it to Stephen Bunting for a second. Petrezco is a dart away from the quarterfinals. Double four. And Pikachu's dream continues. Idiot. Need another treble to get to a finish. Rob Cross still bossing this leg. Six. Can't bully his way through to that treble. Fifty-seven. Robbie Rue one hundred and sixty-one. Yeah, visits like 57 are not going to be enough for O'Connor. This would be a dagger for Willie O'Connor. And this is the route that he likes on 161. The route that he loves on 161. Good. And Rob Cross masters the bullseye. That is a monstrous checkout. That puts him 4 0 up. He's not going to get a taste of his own medicine, but. Rob Cross is still very oh, much in control. So. Well, it's only a second 180, Rob Cross. But it's not really the 180s that have done the damage. It's the relentless two treble visits. The 130 plus oh. scores. He's had almost a dozen of them, nearly three times the number of Willie O'Connor. Oh, that's frustrating, it means he's not on a finish, so Rob Cross can do what he wants. May not go for the 18s, although he does like that segment, could be two treble 18s, double 10. No, he's going on the 20s, leaves 68. That leaves double four for a third ton plus checkout of the game and a 6-1 win. Good. Dominance from Rob Cross. He averages 110. Then me, myself and I, and you have to be selfish and he's happy doing what he's doing. And listen, it's not doing him any harm at the moment. He's thrown some of the best darts of his life. And he's won a major while doing all that. 100. So. Okay, 90. Yeah, the naysayers will say that, oh, it's only darts. You don't need to be fit. Yes, you do. And Dirk needs the ball. Okay, Dirk gets the ball. We've seen, we're seen some excellent ball hitting this afternoon. Ricardo Petrezco hitting the middle set. Slightly awkward. Dirk needs to shuffle. Might need to shuffle again. 16. I'm surprised Roger he kept shuffling 40. to the left. I thought that had been closed on the door. I thought he'd have gone to the right so we could see the whole of the bed. Oh, 
big, chasing big doubles. Dogs. 35. Wow. Doha requires 16. Well, that's a huge missed opportunity there from Ross Smith. I think Dirk will duly punish him. Well, or will he? Or will he? Yes, he does. A ton plus checkout of Thorn. If you can call that a thing. He only ever reached one semi final on the Euro Tour Dirk. That was back in 2020 in Belgium. 57. The man who plays in so many of these, he's not exactly had a stellar record to shout about. But that could all change. 100. Well, we know he's more than capable of winning any event that he turns up at. So why not here? Berger requires 76. And he's 76 points away from a place in the quarter-final. Double eight for Dirk. 68. And we go on further. 64. Double 16. Hey, and Ross Smith breaks again. Smith. Nice little bit of pressure shot there, though, from Dirk. Two darts at double eight to stay in this contest. Double four now. Oh. 63. What's been so Berger good for Ross Smith 69. over the last few months is he's finishing. Just letting him down here a little bit. He's not taking advantage of breaking the throw. And Dirk Van Dijvenrode doesn't take advantage of the missed starts. Four. Awkward. Madhouse. Hey, Ross Smith pins it. We are going all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and what a classy dart under maximum pressure. The only thing in Dirk's favour here now Game on. is he has the start. Oh. There's the biggest one of the lot. 140-180. Can't ask for any better than that for the start of a deciding leg One. where you have to throw. And a 100 in response is not enough. 96. Well, 85 left after just nine darts when it's your throw. Not a lot Ross Smith can do about this. But he fills it up anyway, just in case. Just in case. Two at tops for the match. When Dirk Van Dijvenboda and Ross Smith play, they always go to their last leg like, decider. That'll clear the all. <laughs> oh, he's got to get a shot. And he's not missed a dart at double. Oh, but he finally has. Brendan Dolan does finally get a chance to win a leg. And that was an absolute whisker away. But this is the sort of shot Brendan's got to hit. He's, he, he has to take this out. Two good markers. 12. And it's exactly what Georgia you were saying a minute ago, Cole. 25. You limit the opportunities so that when, when you finally do get one, it seems a little bit harder to take it. Yeah, this is rubbing salt in the wound as well if he hits this double 12. Yeah, Brendan's just missed three darts at it. There is plenty of money to be won, of course. Josh Rockwood to win this title, it certainly put the cat amongst the pigeons. Brendan is the Northern Irish number one. Daryl Gurney is the Northern Irish number two. There's quite a cushion. You're probably looking at about 50 grand from Josh Rock to Daryl Gurney. But two weekends on the Euro Tour, you win both titles, and this lad is capable of doing it. Yeah. That's 60 grand. Double 19. Doesn't get a go at the double 12 again, but he will leave double 16. Brendan Dolan gets a look at 101.
going to get a dart. Only one. And that's all he needs. Brendan Dolan does avoid the whitewash. And that's, eight. and that's the sort of thing you expect Josh Rock to do every time he plays. Now, it's fluctuated quite a bit, anywhere between 107 and 93. But come the end of the game, it would be a typical Josh Rock set of numbers to have a, a 97 average. And that's a good standard. So while we've had a period of dominance for Josh and then this resurgence from Brendan, Josh Rock might be going back into the lead. He's won that leg by 322 points. It doesn't matter whether he's on 170 or 174 with one treble. Yeah, totally agree. And he sets it up. If you leave yourself on tops after 12 darts in the last leg decider, there's not a great deal more you can ask of yourself. Now, Paul Brendan will be thinking to himself, why have the trebles dried up now? Well, that's no good for Brendan. Leaves a bogey number, no pressure. Josh Rock for another win against Dolan. Oh, double 19. And double 19 is there. Josh Rock pushed a lot closer by Brendan Dolan than in their previous meetings.